<clears throat> What's up, guys? I'm live from the uh, man cave. <clears throat> Couple things I want to just uh, touch on, kind of reiterate, and uh, what will be the comet ice on alien deception video I did. <clears throat> First things first, I'm not, uh, not saying it's definitely a UFO or uh, definitely a spacecraft, but I am saying to definitely keep your eyes peeled to the fact that um, it might be a deception, deceiving, and to come off as a spacecraft, alien spacecraft. Anybody who knows anything about real aliens, that they're demons, fallen angels, spacecrafts, interdimensional, they don't need to have months coming in, you know, to fly here. It's a, it's a you know, snap of the finger. They're, they're interdimensional spacecraft here. <clears throat> so I'm saying just be careful of the deception that's being plotted right now. To make it look like they flew here from another planet because that's what they want you to believe so just keep your eyes peeled on that uh, that's what I'm leaning toward most like I said with the whole signing of the peace treaty and the Antichrist um, with the peace treaty with Israel and you know our Bible teaches us that whoever signs a seven-year covenant is the Antichrist also, while I'm on that point, we know that Obama, John F. Kerry pushing hard for that peace treaty, which is their number one agenda, really. And uh, it took a lot for me to say that Obama is not the Antichrist. Uh, every, all signs are pointing to him being the Antichrist. But, uh, and personally, personally, I, I would say he is um, the Antichrist. But, uh, there's also something else out there that I believe is going to be even, even above him. There's, there's, there's the whole, I believe, the whole false alien thing. I believe a false alien you know, a fallen angel will be that Antichrist. But then again, you know, it says that Satan takes over the body of the Antichrist <clears throat> and dwells in him. So, why would Satan take over the body of a fallen angel already? He's already fallen. Why would it even be an abomination, so to speak? <clears throat> so, with that being said, I want to move on to the next topic. We all know uh, Terminator 2, where the um, John Connor is being chased by, uh, well, he's being chased by, I believe, Terminator or uh, that other metallic cop, aluminum cop, whatever that dude is. <clears throat> anyway, he goes through the bridge and there's an overpass there and it says, Caution 9-11. A lot of us know that that was Illuminati uh, symbolism for 9-11 for that was to come. I think this movie was made in like 91, Terminator 2. I just, it was just on, the, on TV last night. I watched it with my daughter. And uh, she actually loved it. We had a good time. But there's also the date of August 29th brought up in there. There's also August 4th, which is Obama's birthday, uh, mentioned in the movie also. <clears throat> a lot of everything they put in that movie is real a lot of people didn't even think it could be real back in 91 today I think everybody pretty much knows that it's real the stuff that they touch on in that movie so with that being said I want to move on to the date August 29th I believe you're putting two and two together here and you got why are they airing this movie uh, <laughs> from 91 why is it on this month, this week? And they mention August 4th, which we all know what happened there, where they shut down the embassies all in the Middle East. 
during Ramadan, during the night of, I don't know, the most special night in Islam, and they shut down all the embassies, and it's also Obama's birthday. So that, that date's been mentioned. Also in this movie, we have the 9-11 thing, precursor, uh, warning symbol, and now we have the date August 29th, so I just want to push that out there, give a little heads up on that. I wouldn't be surprised if something did take place then. While I'm on the subject, I also had a dream and a vision. This was a year ago. In this dream, my whole family was up my house for Thanksgiving, which is rare because usually we do all the holidays at my brother's house because he's like the man on the grill, grill master and the whole nine. So, so she's got like the tile floors, everybody can run around and have a good time. Moving on, that's, that's neither here nor there. So anyway, <clears throat> I had this vision where we were all at my house for Thanksgiving. And there was a chemical attack. And I seen a chemical attack. I remember not being able to breathe. Um, then I remember also seeing New York and cities were flooded with rats. Rats, I guess, from the subways came up and were everywhere. Uh, you literally were beating them off with sticks and stuff like that. This is the vision I had. <clears throat> now, what's, what's more significant about this vision is that most likely I will have my whole family up here for Thanksgiving because I will have a baby born, praise God, praise Jesus, um, by the blessing hand of the Lord. Um, I've been blessed with, you know, a baby boy in my wife's womb, of course, not not here yet, but due November, early November. So, that might bring my whole family up here for Thanksgiving to see the baby. By then, he should be able to have visitors, and uh, so on, and so on. So, it just brings that vision more to uh, reality. Uh, so there you go. I just wanted to wrap all that up. I think I touched on about five different topics there. So as always, God bless in Jesus Christ's holy name. I bring you these revelations. Amen.